walking down those stairs yeah. and on the stage and sitting in here when we were in the commercial break. Yeah. Are you all right now? I'm OK now, yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> loving it. <Okay. laughs> um, you are a massive Big Brother fan. Yeah. You, you're, a, you're a super fan, yeah. aren't you? So I would imagine it's quite daunting, yeah. the whole process. Yeah. Um, but what was it like living in there? How, how did it live up to your expectations? Yeah, the past and totally. I've never done anything like that and I never dreamt that I'd get in Big Brother. And to have done it, was yeah. just the most surreal experience. Meeting you now and being here right now feels like an illusion and a dream. It's real! I know, it's real. <laughs> and it's just so amazing, and it's thank you to everybody that made this happen, so this is the best thing in the world. Um, during Cash Bomb this week, which has had a huge impact yeah. on every single person yeah. that's still in there, uh, we saw you... Um, we saw you kind of trade yourself a place to the final yeah. by sacrificing Chloe. Um, <laughs> <laughs> did you ever feel guilty about it? Yes. Very guilty, and I also realised that I have a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to get yeah. to the Big Brother final, and that's something that I've always wanted my whole life. And mm. in the rush of the moment, I just did it, so I loved it. So you know, I, I didn't love it. Sorry, I, I just it was just something I did, and I don't regret it now. But and Chloe's still here, and that's fantastic. And she sounds like she's got loads of support. So that's she amazing. has got a lot of support. Um, something else that you also. Um, kind of did and don't regret is your relationship with Harry. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean did in that way, by the way. Um, you, there she is, jiggling about. Um, you are quite, on paper, you're an unlikely couple. Yes. So what drew you to her? She's just someone, sometimes opposites attract and I have something mm. really endearing and amazing about her and I love spending time with her. Yeah, I think right. she's beautiful so I really want to keep seeing her after. Yeah. Um, we saw you say to Joel in the, uh, that in the house you guys were boyfriend and girlfriend. What oh. do you want to happen what on the outside? Say... Yeah. Oh, oh, look. I, you said I'm... in the house. Oh, yeah. In the house yeah. with boyfriend and girlfriend. I'm not un under any illusions. It's going to be really hard when you come out of here and there's going to be certain things that get in the way but that's something mm. I want and try to happen but if it doesn't then I just want to be friends with her afterwards. So, you know, I want to just be friends and stay in touch with her. Um, she kind of dominated most of your time yeah. in the house. How different do you think your experience would have been had she, she not have she, been She's part of my experience and she made it as special as it is and I'd never change anything about what I did. So without Harry, I wouldn't have probably got through it all. So she kept um, I going. I think uh, it seemed like lots of people thought you kind of, they lost you a little bit okay. to her. Um, housemates as well, you know, they kind of said it to you, you kind of always with Harry, we lost you to the bed for quite a while, to oh be honest, God. Nick. Um, but was it quite a light relief to actually have somebody in there that yeah. you were that close with and that you I need could somebody rely on? like that. Whether it be Jade, Harry, Nikki, yeah. I need somebody to sort of keep me going and stuff like that. And they, they definitely did all three of those people and every single housemate. Yourself, everybody. It was yeah. fantastic. And I am I, it was my fault that I isolated myself and I apologise and everyone stood by me and that was fantastic inside. Well I think that's testament to you and what a lovely bloke you seem is that no matter, you know, how much they lost you to a duvet and to Harry, they still liked you. Yeah. You said before you went into the house that you didn't have any friends. <laughs> Do you feel like you've made friends? I've made uh, the best friends in the world and I'm never gonna that's the best friends. <laughs> You also said on launch night that you were loathable. Yeah. <laughs> I think, and I hope everyone agrees, that you're extremely lovable. And it's been amazing to see you go in there, quite a nervous person who fills with his hair and picks his nose and does all of that, and who can't speak in public, to come out and be this, this quite confident person and have grown in there. So well done and thank you so much.